I want to do another tag. Sometimes I look at these tags and I think they sound so familiar like I've did them and then I check my channel and I don't find them. Maybe they're under different names or maybe it was just part of other tags, but I will I'm going to do a tag. I don't even know the name of the tag, but the questions are what's your middle name? I don't have one. How old are you? I don't hide it. 48 how tall am I? 5'6". My favorite color, purple. Uh, I have two piercings, no tattoos, but I like one. My husband won't let me. Uh, places I have visited would be um, Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Hawaii. <laughs> I think that covers it besides Puerto Rico. Um, okay. <laughs> My talents. <sighs> Plural. I, I used to be able to sing. I can't anymore because <laughs> uh, of allergies. Um, I, I could put makeup on myself, but I'm not good at putting it on other people except maybe my mom, uh, maybe my daughter. Um, at this point, I just consider a talent is maybe an encourager. Uh, I try to be kind to people. I try to be caring to people. I try to be fair to people. I don't want to be negative to people. You know, I, I try to find the good. Like if somebody does a makeup look, you know, like just find the good and the strengths in people and let them know and encourage people. So, I don't know. That's a talent. I crochet. Um... And I would say that I'm in the intermediate stage. I'm not in the advanced stage of that, though I, I'm working on it. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a pretty good budgeter. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, pet peeves. One thing I don't like is a liar and a manipulator. Someone who tries to lie and manipulate you and you like, no, I don't think so. And then they're mad at you because, you know, two things about, about me you wouldn't know unless I told you. I'm an open book. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't like celery. And I don't like like um, asparagus or Brussels sprouts. I can tolerate a lot of things. But I like those things, I just I can't tolerate. I don't like pepper. I don't know. Stuff like that. <laughs> my top five songs. I used to be really into songs. Songs used to be a part of my soul. Um, I used to love worship songs. I used to love Christian contemporary music. Uh, I like disco. Um, but like nothing is like the top right now. Um, you know, and I, I, I like songs like from the 70s. They were love songs that they just don't make them like that anymore. I like um, some the songs from the 80s. They were very hip. Uh, but going into the 90s. I didn't like it. I felt the songs were about violence and sex and no, nothing romantic about it, you know? So, so that's all I can say about that. Favorite hairstyle. I've always been the Farrah Fawcett type of style. It's just always what suited me. Um, and then at some point in my life, I got tired of bangs and I let my hair all grow out. And even though bangs are hard to upkeep, I don't like my forehead showing so much. So I'm trying to like let my hair grow out, um, but the, my forehead is bothering me. I guess right now I could go for um, long layers. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I learned from um, one of the gurus how to cut your own hair into long layers. So I want to try that. Um, one way that I think that the world can change is if everyone would just stop being so selfish and love each other. And easier said than done because we're all selfish in our own way. Some of us are selfish in small ways. Some of us are selfish in huge ways. But if we could all just love one another, the world would be a better place. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. There would be no war in this world. The world would be such a better place to live in. Uh, my biggest fear, I've said this a thousand times, I can't stand roaches. I think I fear more than roaches, though, at this point. It's probably bed bugs. <laughs> I mean, I never see one again in my entire life. Um, but, yeah, uh, I fear roaches. As you know, I've 
told you this last story and uh uh and uh, and then yeah bed bugs now i'm so paranoid when i go somewhere i'm afraid to sit on chairs that are made of fabric i try to look for chairs that are made of plastic or foam because i know they don't like that I, like i'm afraid of wooden chairs um i'm like really paranoid now because of that because i'm just so afraid because you can get them anywhere from a restaurant to a theater hotel anywhere doctor's office um complete sentence i can't wait until i i can't wait until i one day will own my own home i don't know if it's ever going to happen but I just want my own home that I can decorate how I like it, paint the walls how I like it, put the put pictures on the walls without fear it, without fear of holes being in the wall and, and landlords freaking out. I just want my own home where I can have like my own craft room, a place where I can put all my crafts in, my own makeup room, um, maybe a, a room where I can display my Barbie dolls. Um, I can't wait till that day happens. And even if it never happens, I can always dream about it. But that's what I can't wait. Uh, I, When I am bored, I. I do not get bored. <laughs> there is always so much to do in my life. Uh, I let so much go because of homeschooling. When I moved here, it's just been paperwork upon paperwork upon paperwork. And it, ne it just never seems to end. Just when I think I'm done, I'll always get slapped with some more paperwork. Because when you have your children in county care, um, you know, both of my children have, um, you know, depression, learning dis one has learning disabilities, one has bipolar. And, you know, when you can't afford insurance and you have to deal with county care, it's always paperwork. And since I moved here, it's just been one thing after the other. Because nothing here is simple. It's always, you know paperwork to do it to switch everything it was two hours on the phone it's just you know and then i don't have time for me and i neglected the house and neglected so many things so so many things to do for me that i cannot get bored <laughs> and then i have netflix so i love to crochet i sit and i watch netflix star trek things like that um when people first meet me they think i am i have no idea uh, just one of the things that I notice is that people, um, usually people treat me with respect when they first meet me. Um, I'm not sure if it's an air about me or I exude confidence. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, people, I don't know. And maybe because I've been part of the church scene and they're supposed to be friendly when they first meet you and greet you and all that. But... Um, yeah, I guess in non-church circles, they look at my weight and it's like, you know, but I don't know. I don't know what they think about me. I think they're either thinking, oh, you know, that woman looks confident or, oh, she's fat. I think that's that's the only thing I can tell you what I perceive. Um, my friends say that I am uh, a caring person, uh, you know, a very caring and loving person, I think. I don't like people who, like I said before, um, I just don't like people that lie. I don't like people who are rude. I don't like people who lie and manipulate me or try to lie and manipulate me. I don't like that. Um, people who are rude, um, you know, people who are condescending. I think that, you know, gets me madder than anything. Um... <laughs> All right, this or that. Uh, Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone. Mac or PC? Mac. I've never had a Blackberry, but I heard they're better than iPhones. But Mac, once you've gone to Mac, you can never go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will never go back to a PC. Cat or dog? Nope, absolutely no way I'm choosing. I love them all the same. But the only thing about the dogs is, is they're more friendly and loving and cats are more aloof. So summer or winter, don't like either. I don't like the summer. It's too hot. I don't like the winter. It's too cold. I prefer spring or fall and living in the South Fall is better because it's cooler. Uh, heels or sneakers? 
before I hurt my back and, and had children, I loved high heels. It's so sexy and beautiful. But now I'd rather just have flats, comfy, cushiony flats. I don't even wear sneakers anymore because my back, I can't be bending to put them on, tie shoelaces and stuff like that. Lipstick or lip gloss? Can I say chapstick? <laughs> I love lip balm. I like lipstick because it gives more color. Gloss, I guess, is sheer and a bit more sticky. So I guess if I had to choose between the two, it would be lipstick. A juice or a fizzy? Oh, it's soda. I don't drink either. I don't like them. Um, even though I, I like sugar, sodas, I don't like that fizz going up my nose. It makes me burp. <laughs> it's, it just gives me gas. I don't like it. And juice is just too sweet juice and syrup that people would think that oh because you're fat you love to I, I don't like things that are too sweet and now even less that I, I'm getting used to having as little sugar as possible yeah water or coffee and I'm and I'm trying to stay away from coffee as much as possible I'm trying to get into herbal teas I love herbal teas and I think I'm going to stick with that uh silly sense of humor or sarcastic <laughs> I think I can be both um I don't know. Sometimes sarcasm is just warranted, but I, I just more of silly sense of humor. Like my husband says, I make him laugh. My kids, I make my kids laugh, you know, so. So, yeah, um, I, if you know the name of this tag, let me know so that I can label it and I, I'll because I, then I can get the questions for you because I think I deleted it from my computer, I think. So, OK, so. That's the tag for today, and I'm going to take pictures, and I'll probably um, videotape myself doing the cutie mark, because I really want to get that cutie mark. Um, all right. Bye.